Hi guys, it's day seven, which is means we're in today, uh, into week two, should I say. So welcome. If you're with me this morning, do make sure you say hi. It's always nice to know that you're with me doing this in the mornings. And if you're not doing it with me, do a hashtag replay. I'd love to know how you find this. Now, week two, we are taking this up a little bit for our June challenge. As you know, we're going to be doing three exercises. We're going to be doing 10 repetitions, but we are going to intensify what we're doing because we want to feel some progress with our bodies. So if you are joining me for the first time, that half term's finished and you're thinking, actually, I want to have a go. Fantastic. I would recommend you just go back to week one. Week one, there's demonstrations of lunges, of the squats, just to make sure that you've got your positioning right and also options on the planks. This next week, this one, we're just going to add in a little bit more now. You can use cans. I've bought some just to show you what you can add in to make things a little bit harder for yourselves. I'm actually going to use some light weights I've got behind me um, just to show you what you can do. But please just work out your level. If you just feel that you can't actually go up to this next level yet, that's absolutely fine. Go back to what we were doing and just count to 10 on each of those exercises. You're still really, really improving yourselves. And also, if you've not been able to hit the 10s, I'd much prefer you to try and get 10 of everything. Then you know that you're actually ready for that next step. But let's get started. And I'm just going to step back. Now then, as I say, you can use cans or you can use some hand weights. Now, these ones are 1.5, so they're not heavy weights, which is great, but they will add in some intensity. Now, remember, if you are um, on the basic level, we've been doing lunges where we're stepping forwards and coming back, or you're going to be going into a lunge where you're just dropping that knee down. Now, this time, we're going to add a little pulse in whilst we're down, and then we're going to come back up. So you're going to step forward, alternating legs, take a little pulse, and then press back. So for those of you on basic, you're going to be doing 10 alternating legs with a pulse. I'm going to be doing the intermediate, which is going to be 10 on the right, 10 on the left. Now that extra little pulse will definitely add in. So you don't necessarily need weights. If you want to try this without the weights to start with, you can. As you can see, I'm just moving my legs just to get myself a little bit warmer. So just have a think. Do you want to try it with weights or do you want to do it without? So what we're going to do is we're going to keep our weights handy, standing down by our, our hips. We're going to take a step forwards and then we're going to go down. So we're going to start on our right leg, so join in with me. So that's one. We're going to step forwards and down. And you're going to do a little pulse and press back this time. So come down and then press with a pulse and then come back. Good. So taking this forwards, this is three. So you know what we've been doing the last week. This actually adds a really nice extra intensity to the movement without doing a huge amount more, but you will definitely feel your standing leg a little bit more. That's five. This is six. Good. Keeping that chest lifted. Little pulse. Seven. Press back. And you should be finding your balance is better. Eight. And forward. Just bring those arms forward. Nine. And this is our last one, 10. Now I've done some demonstration videos. Roll those shoulders, take a breath. So if you want to have a look at those, I've done those before this video. So here we go on the left side. So forwards, down the pulse and press back. Now if you're on the basic and you've stopped and you've actually done your 10, you can either join in with me on this one or you can just march those legs. Just catch your breath and just see how you feel. Or you can carry on doing some alternating ones. Coming back. Now, how far are you able to go down? Are you finding that you're able to go a little bit deeper with those lunges now? This is five. Good, breathe. And press back. Taking those weights a little bit forward so that it really helps to intensify the movement. Down, this is seven. Press. Eight. Great way to start the day. Great way to start the week. Nine. We've got one more of these. You've got this. Good, 10, and back. Can you feel the difference? Roll those shoulders. All right, we're gonna go into our sumo squats. Take those legs 45 degrees with those feet. Should I say five to ones? So having your hands here, remember, if you're on the basics, you're gonna be holding those weights or those cans, pressing back with your bottoms, doing a little pulse, squeezing up. So this time, rather than just going down and going straight back up, we'll do a little pulse, and we're going pulling it up. Squeezing those glutes, 
And then what we're going to do for the advanced or intermediate, coming down that pulse, then raise up to the ceiling like we've been doing. With the weights, you're going to really activate through your abdominals. So you don't need them to be too heavy, and you are going to stop them at the top, coming down, straight arms down, and then down. Now I can hear my heart rate's already gone up. So let's get started. We're going to do 10 of these. Five, six, off we go. So pressing back with a pulse, and those of you who want to lift over your head, you can, coming back down. See how low you can go. Pulse, squeeze up, squeeze those glutes, squeeze those glutes, coming down, good. This is three, squeeze. This is four, good. Chins parallel as you come up. This is five. Chest is always lifted. Pressing back to that bottom, make sure those knees are in line with those ankles, not with the toes. Coming down. Seven. Down. Eight, great way to start the day this is. Nine, really lifts those endorphins. We've got one more to go, you've got this. 10, squeeze it up. Now we're gonna come down. For those of you who are more advanced, let's do some pulsing. So 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Squeeze it up. Good job, march those legs. Now we're gonna put these weights down and we're gonna to go to the floor and we're going to be doing our plank moves. And so you know, we're going to be working through our shoulders, our arms, and our chest, as well as our abdominal muscles here. So rolling down, coming down onto the floor. All right, so last week, you were doing, if you were on the basics, you're starting on your knees, taking your knees backwards into a plank mode, making sure that your wrists are under your shoulders. And you were lifting one leg. Now you can still just do this if you want to, so I'm going to show you. But what I'd like you to try and do this week is to come up into a plank if you can, and drop your knees. Now, if you can't wait there through your arms, you can go down onto your wrists. All right, so you can do it this way. Whichever feels right for you. We are gonna carry on on the intermediates with doing the spider swipe, the stepping in and out, and then we're actually adding in a leg raise. So I want you to all just have to choose what one you want to do. Have a go through the basic demonstrations I've shown you, then you can actually get a feel of what works for you. All right. So let's get started. We're going to do a spider swipe or your knee dips. Five, six, off we go. So forward, cross, back, forward, cross, back. These is three, this is four. Really keep those blossoms down. Five, drive that knee. Six, seven, eight, two more, nine, ten. Good. Drop those knees, go back into child's pose. Take that weight off your wrists. Now then, you can either carry on doing those knee dips, if you're on basic, or you can either do a step out, I'm just going to show you, you can either do a step out and in, or a jump out and in on the next one, okay? Now then, I'm going to do the jumping out this time. Five, six, off we go. Two, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Knees down, press back. We're going to add in the leg raise. And this is all about balancing through our pelvis, through our shoulders, through our arms. And what you want to do is make sure you don't move anything other than the leg raise that you do, pulling your tummy up towards your spine and making sure that you don't arch your back. So we're going to come up onto our toes, just raising up and down. So you're ready. Five, six, off we go. So raise and lower. As still as you can, that's two. That's three. Four, five, squeeze, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten. Knees down, press back, feel proud. That's your Monday. <laughs> That's a, if you're doing Monday with me. You can do this at any point. So I'm obviously trying to get mine done in the mornings. I like to get things done and dusted. Roll those shoulders through. So a quick circle of our arms. Good job. Now, just taking those up a little bit more, you will notice that it really does make a difference to how we started last week. And if you're able to just carry on and bash those out with me, fantastic. It just shows that you've got that strength and your endurance is getting there. If you found that a little bit difficult, just regress back to what feels comfortable for you. 
It's all about your challenge and how you feel. And that's what's really important. So I really hope you enjoy that. Now, you can carry on and go and do another workout. You could go for a walk. You can make this work for you. You can dot this into your day, but do do a hashtag replay. Comment, let me know how you found it. Did you enjoy those little extra pulses? And how did you find it? Did you use cans? Did you use some weights? Love to know. But have a brilliant rest of your day. I hope you're feeling your endorphins lifted. And I will see you tomorrow, 7.15. Come and join me. <laughs> Take care, guys. Have a great one.